Iga Sviantek versus Naomi Osaka is a blockbuster second round match between two champions. And both have had different results this year on the clay. Osaka entered the tournament as 134 in the world with a record of 12 wins and 9 losses, which includes 4 wins on clay and 3 losses. Her best result so far in her comeback was in Doha by making the quarterfinals, eventually losing to Pliskova in a close straight sets. But her best win actually came on the clay in Rome, beating Kazakina, who was number 11 in the world, in straight sets. Her worst loss also came on the clay. It was against Trevison in France, who was number 78 at the time. Her form, however, has been really good, considering that fourth round appearance in Rome, really helping her get some confidence and some wins on a surface that she doesn't do well on. Fiontek entered the tournament as the number one in the world, with a win-loss record for the year, 38 wins and four losses, which includes an incredible 14-1 win-loss record on the clay, having only lost one match to to Rabakina. Her best win of the year has got to be that Madrid final where she beat Sabalenka in a, such a close three-set match, getting some revenge over the last year's final where she lost to Sabalenka. And that also goes down as her best win. She's actually beaten Sabalenka twice this year, who is the number two player in the world. Her worst loss, however, was at the Australian Open where she lost to Noskova in the third round, who was number 50 in the world at the time. That was a long time ago and her form has been so good, going back to back in Madrid and Rome, just winning and winning and winning in her last matches. These were played twice before with the head-to-head split down the middle at 1-1, with Osaka winning their first match in Toronto in 2019, and then two years ago in Miami, Sviantek getting the win. So it'll be the first time they've played on a clay court, and the way that Osaka's been playing could make it a little bit interesting, especially if she does play aggressive as she likes to play. If Osaka's going to win this one, she needs to serve well, and she needs to be aggressive. Maybe learn from someone like Rabakina or Sabalenka in how to play Sviantek on clay, because even though it's not a fast surface and it doesn't really favor those big hitters, you can still play a big game and trouble Sviantek on the clay. If Sviantek's going to win this one, she needs to take her time and try and defend as best she can, especially if the conditions are going to be slow. Because we do know that the weather's been really bad so far, so the roof could be shut, it could be indoors, and it could be really slow, which will help Sviantek as well deal with the power of Osaka. I love that we're getting a second round match of this one, and I hope we get to see this again, maybe on a hard court in the next couple of months, but i got to go with Sviantek in this one in straight sets. I just think the clay courts are Sviantek's home and... Osaka's still learning how to play on this surface, even though she's been around for a lot longer. It's going to be Sviantek for me, but let me know in the comments below who's going to win this one.